What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my little behind the scenes on how I make an animation. Now this is my new method of making an animation. This is a text, a speech to text device which allows me to turn my words into actual text. And then I take this little device, add-on or program or whatever you call it. I'm booting it up now. While that's running, I'm going to record a few lines. Oh, Brian, that Vegeta costume. Now you can see right here it kind of messed up because I paused. But no problem. Okay. And now we continue. It's amazing. You look really good in it. Now we have our lines. Now we're gonna take that and bring it over here. And we wanna go over the here. To tools and go over the here click on that then you paste the words into there and you choose what voice you want it to be it could be a Fre English French German Japanese it's just totally up to you be in mind if you are living like America where I do and you pick like say Japanese for your character they wouldn't be able to understand it. You would have to put subtext uh, in it. But if you live in some other part of the country, hey, that's good. Now, there are some male voices in here. We're gonna go with this one. And then we're gonna go over to here. It's already in Sapphire the Cat. So we're just gonna highlight that. So that way the file is named the same thing. And we just kind of click start. And boom, done. Now we can preview it. Oh Brian, the Vegeta costume is amazing. You look really good in it. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Now we'll go over to Anime Studios. We'll go over to here, and now I have to choose which one of these characters should I have to say the line. I think I'll have Sally. Let me just, uh, this is Sally, one of my original characters, human characters I might add, dressed as Nova Mink. So now we grab the file. We grab the file from my computer. I think it's somewhere. I think it's this. No, oh, no, I think it's. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Ah, here we go. O'Brien. We grab it and drag it in. And now we go into that file by clicking this button. It allows us to click on any port in the map and it will take us exactly over to what file we want. We want Sally's head because that's where the voice. We double click on that and then we click on that and boom, it's automatically synced. Now let's listen. Oh Brian, the Vegeta costume is amazing. You look really good in it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now we have to animate. Her. Oh Brian, the Vegeta. Okay. Obviously the voice is kind of messed up, but I can fix that later. It's not perfect. And we're just gonna stop it right here for now. And we're just gonna animate her by 
Well, I think I'll have her bend over like so. Oh, <laughs> the bend the neck bone. I just simply took the head bone and literally moved it up like so. But I wanted to be back on the head like it's a mask. I added other bones to here. So let's move her arms like so. I think I'll have her like this. Yeah, that looks about right, like she's holding her hands together. Alright, and... Now, right here, I want her to move her arms out like... Okay, that's kind of messing up, but that's not... That's... That's normal. To fix that, I just do this. And it's not letting me click the... Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. Uh, no, I... No, that was the right one. Huh. Weird. Usually that would work. Oh, no. I think I must have... Oh no, it's still connected. Okay. It's kind... Uh... Okay. Let's see. And... Oh, seriously? Yeah, sometimes I need extra bones does not work out. I should see if there's any restraints on it. Oh, that? That actually works. Leave those restraints on there and that actually works. Okay, I'm just gonna move these points because I want to add a keyframe here. You right click on that, add keyframe. You might have to do it a couple of times or just once, I don't know. But that's what I'm gonna do. And Oh, now it's working fine. Okay, and I've had another keyframe there. And then we're just gonna hit this and boom. And I'm just resetting all those. This, in retrospect, was not a good idea. Especially since I had the head bone attached. So at this point, you want to unselect the head bone. So that way, when you reset it, it looks normal and the head bone is still the same oh and I just noticed that the tail is moving and this is supposed to be a costume for Sally so I doubt the tail would actually be moving so we go back to frame we'll go back to say here where the boat for the tail would be technically on the floor so we click on that go over to here I'm just gonna click a cliff right there and then just delete these bones and then just brute in that over to there I'm just going to mute that for now because that would get annoying. Well, you guys probably can't hear it, but I certainly can. And you probably can hear it over to my microphone, my speaker. And that's pretty much how I 
make an animation. Then, of course, I don't have a background right now, so I'm not gonna. But this is what I would normally do. I would hit Control, or I, and that just shows us a screenshot. It basically like takes a screenshot of it. And I just realized I gave the costume like a cape. But if I want to render, I hit Control E, and this is the thing. Now. If I go to here to images, then it would be like a slideshow and animate each one individually. We want MP3, MP4 player. We hit OK. And then we name it, but I'm not gonna do that. But that's pretty much how I make an animation. So I'm gonna save you the trouble. And basically, the too many hackapoo scene, I am going to recreate it because somebody says that they can't hear what they're saying. Also, I'm going to see if I can fix that that scene when she's like literally saying Vegeta's name. It just doesn't sound right. It might be an issue with the. Uh, program it can't say Vegeta just right but I'm gonna see if I can fix it but like I said I'm gonna recreate that scene and it's gonna have an added bonus at the end of it I'm not gonna say what you're just gonna have to wait and see so I hope you enjoyed this little behind the scenes look of how I make my animations and tell me what you look think but remember if you guys have a suggestion for an animation you would want me to do please be in mind I'm only one guy I have no one helping me so yeah so with that said drop it a lot like if you like this little tutorial or behind the scenes and tell me what you think and till then this is Shadow Fanny 2 signing off.